All right, let's talk about haters. Oof. I don't think there's anyone in social media world who's built more social media careers, coaching from day one up, and then turns and uh, the <laughs> self hate, self judgment is the biggest thing for most people. The biggest hurdle they got to overcome, but the second biggest one would be social disapproval. So if you do want to become successful online, if you want to make the six-figure incomes that I make, that actually there's people out there are making seven seven figures a year off my uh, my coaching, my templates, etc. and good on them. They put the work in, they believed in me, they believed in themselves. When I said you can do it, then join my coaching group at duranrider.com. It's on the hat. I don't know anyone in the world who can grab someone off the street and turn them into a social media celebrity as good as I as good as I've done and as good as I can do and that sounds really arrogant and grandiose but it's true do you know anyone out there Gary V Tony Robbins PewDiePie anyone I don't know anyone you know just like coaching behind the scenes go up rising them up I don't know anyone um, I can I can get people fitter than I can get myself I can get people more successful on social media than I can get myself I just have a gift of you know, of coaching. I don't know what it is, but I guess, yeah, vicariously, I can do things incredible like that. Haters. All right. We've done videos about self-hate. We've done videos a lot about haters. But let's do another one about haters and how to overcome that. And you know, it's about understanding what is the hater. Like, this is the biggest, this is a mobile phone, a smartphone, the biggest distraction humans have ever, ever had in their day life. All right. If you've got kids or a spouse or whatever and they're sitting in a room and there's no noise, what are they doing? They're on their phone or they're sleeping. Right, simple as that. Sleeping or on their phone. <laughs> it's just, the phones are amazing but also very destructive. This, this, this is, I, I can be, I'm here sitting here, I've got my bikes and my cats and Natasha, you know, at my will and disposal. I've got total life freedom. And I can jump on my little smartphone and, you know, check some comments or whatever and, and see some haters. Do an order. Do, 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 You know? And all of a sudden, my peace and tranquility that I've created for my life every day can be disrupted, dis distracted, because I'm like, oh, how dare someone say that, especially on my profile. Blah, 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 blah. And, and then I'm not in the present moment. I'm now back in, you know, social media hate world, etc. And then that can rob me or you or anyone of the joy of the moment. And so that's the important thing to remember is that this is the first time in history the human brain has been able to have social disapproval, you know, like just instantly. Just get online if you've got a following, or even if you don't have a following, getting a following or whatever, you know, or just sharing your opinion about something, about various social narratives that are going on at the moment. You know? I've been shadow banned massively here on YouTube. I did a video last night about Rafa Nadal, one of the first ones up about Nadal's win and it's had like a thousand views and like you know it's just like I've got like 200 something plus subs established channel regular uploads algorithm friendly but it's full shadow ban so it's that's is what it is is what it is um for speaking about various social <laughs> things going on at the moment in a bit more of an overt way but uh you know but again that could make me real frustrated and like oh my god you know blah 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 blah, blah. but I, I get it man I get it like, I understand that. You know, I understand the risks involved. It's like, same with haters. Like, if you're going to share your opinion, or some mosquito, um, I'm not vegan anymore, just killed a mozzie. If you're going to share your opinion about something, someone's going to disagree with that. Someone's going to agree with it. And the more polarizing you are, like rim breaks for road, or disc breaks for road, or whatever, the more polarizing you are, the more someone will be, no, no, I disagree with that. And you'll have haters. Also, the biggest haters out there you ever have, like my biggest haters ever... I have absolute zero hate for all of them. You know, I mean, definitely there was times where I was like, I was raging, but I was basically immature. I didn't really know how to, what was going on in their heads. I didn't understand their mental health issues or their cortisol issues and sugar phobia, et cetera, et cetera, or jealousy or or whatever. And I look at these people, I'm like, hey, you can do things that I can't do. Like, why don't you focus on that? You know, focus on your gifts versus, you know, whatever. It's just, it's just dumb to focus on on me or whatever or feel rejected because I didn't give you a shout out or I didn't call you back or or made a commentary about you or whatever and you're free to do the same you know I don't take it personal I do it about a lot of people you know it's not just about you um, but I understand now at age 44 why some people just they were 
obviously super fans of mine and I was unaware of that and then I made a, a remark on their page or criticism video or whatever and they took it took it to heart big time you know so apologies to those people it wasn't about you it was just a you know content creation sort of thing but I understand why they did take it personal you know so that's why I have zero hate for these people um, some people out there believe you know some of the bullshit slander or whatever some trolls write about me or, or haters you know people who are super fans and you know they we hooked up had a bit of a, a fan, bangy bangy session in Chiang Mai or whatever and then they realised that it was just going to be a one nighter and just as friends and there was no freely banana girl the two you know incarnation um, and your boyfriend found out and they got you know the boyfriend got jealous and they're like oh how'd you do you slept with Dune right I, 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 I didn't say Dune right hey hey force <laughs> so I understand it you know where my heart sort of breaks a bit is for the noobs out there who would believe these things to be true and go, wow, I looked up to Duran, I looked up to veganism, I love riding my bike, but I can't do any of those things now because Duran riders do, 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 you know, and then they just quit, they just quit and they fall and they, they're the people who suffer, I don't suffer, you know, I'm still making six figures a year, got more money than I know what to do, I've got so much money in my life, I'm like, I'm asking some of my friends, oh, what should I do with this money? What should I, what, what do I do? What do I do if I'm crypto? What should I buy? Sell? What, what do I do? What should I probably like? What, you know what I mean? Having more money, man, is like, to an extent, is good if you're starving, you know? But now, at this point, it's just like, damn, what do you do with it, you know? Same with, like, you know, got my, always got hot chicks in my life, Natasha, got the freedom. So my life quality is like, my life quality is literally today the best it's ever been in my life literally so and that makes me feel extra sad for the people out there who could have had a really good quality of life but choose to believe in the trolls or the you know the ex-super fans or whatever the hate campaigns or you know the social narratives because they're the ones who lose you lose if you think, oh, sugar is bad. Oh, Dune Rider's a bad person. Oh, my God, Dune Rider's this. Dune Rider's blah, 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 blah. Dune Rider's a rapist. Dune Rider's a con man. Blah, blah, blah. I don't lose. I'm still making money every day. More money than I even need. <laughs> I'm retired and I'm still making six figures a year. You know, so it's like you miss out, man. You miss out if you think that these information I put out is bad or untrue or whatever and you don't take action on it. You miss out. I don't miss out. I mean, I, I feel bad for you. And that sort of like, I feel like I'd weight my chest. I'm like, damn, like, you could have been a fucking superstar. You could have been the gun athlete, man. You could be a fucking Tour de France rider right now if you just stayed what I said, but then you doubted yourself, you know? Or you could be winning the Tour de France, you know? Or whatever. Or you could just be a, a, that model you wanted to be, or that influencer you wanted to be, the next TikTok fame girl you wanted to be, or that cycling influencer you wanted to be on YouTube, making six figures, traveling the world, but no. You chose to believe the haters, and they work in that nine to five job, blah 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 blah, that you hate. That your parents said you should do, because don't be touched out of doing right. Here, go, 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 and you believe them, and you lose out. And I feel bad for you. That sucks. That must suck. That must really fucking suck. That you believe those haters, <laughs> and didn't you trust your gut instinct with me, and now you suffer. And if you ask those haters, hey, I'm struggling to pay the rent this week. <laughs> Can you clone us out? They're like. They leave you on scene. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I believe what you said about Drew and, and, and but now my health sucks, and I've lost all my aesthetic, and I'm fucking fat, and I hate my life, and I'm back on SSRIs, and life really sucks. Can you please help me? They'll be like, <laughs> no help from the haters. Um, but you know, like, it's just... So yeah, in life, be careful who you take advice from. Most people out there on the social media world are out there to scam you. All they care about is making more and more money, and they want to get a Porsche, they want to get the latest bling bike. Um, this is my favorite bikes, 2003 and 2005. A Lightspeed Classic and a Trek 5200. If, you, if, if Trek said, hey, Harley, during right, we want to we want to give you the latest Trek Amanda, which is disc back only, you know, and, and put that in your video behind. Do you want it? It's like $20,000 Australian bike. Do you want it? I mean, look, track guys, appreciate it, really appreciate it, I really do, but thanks, but no thanks, give it to someone else who, who wants it, same with Lightspeed, like, do you know, you, you know, you're an icon in cycling social media, everyone knows who you are, love or hate, everyone knows who you are out there, 
your reach is in, enormous. We'll give you the lads light speed disc brake bike, blah, 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 putting your videos, you know, sick bike, super expensive. Like, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. That's the where I'm at in my life. <laughs> the freedom to do what I want to do. Nothing beats that. You know, it's like, it's like even, you know, I've, I've had moments where I've been in a street fight situation or whatever, and I'm like, man, I could really, really win this fight. I could do some serious damage to this person. I could actually rip their ball sack off right now. But I can feel it simmering down. This person is just raged out. They've regretted it. They're cooling down. I ain't going to do nothing. I'm just going to lay here and just, yeah, it's fizzling out. It's all good, you know. I let my ego just take a second seat and, and uh, yes, just let it roll, you know. Do that versus, you know, always have to just try and have the, uh, what's the word? You know, the physical, overt physical dominance. Sometimes it's best. It's like, it's like if your girlfriend you know, slaps you or yells at you or whatever, you know you could just, you know, physically control. But why would you want to risk dislocating someone's elbow or anything? You know, it's just for what? You know, you can do it in other ways. There's other ways to to win or to show or to have... At the end of the day, I mean, winning's cool, but, like, you want to have empathy. Why is someone raging at you, all right? And you can discipline that behavior to a degree, but also you want to understand if you do discipline the behavior... You don't really treat the cause of it, you know, which can be often just a rejection. The person's not getting enough love from you, right? So you don't reward the bad behavior with love, but you want to understand the bad behavior is generally a sign that person's not getting enough love from you. And that love could be sex. It could be time, focus, masculine presence, feminine presence, you know, whatever, whatever they, whatever their love language is. So, you know, it's always going to dig a bit deeper. You want to dig a bit deeper with things. Otherwise... If you're always just you know running from that front brain reaction, or hind brain I should say reaction phase, then you're always going to get yourself in trouble. Prisons full of people who couldn't control their emotions, who just took things at a surface level, made it bigger than it should ever be, and did something stupid, and they regret it, and they got a five year or a six month sentence or a lifetime sentence because they did stupid shit. They regret now, and like, what have I done, man? I've just given up everything, you know. So for me, freedom is very important, and that's why I have immense self-control, you know? Immense self-control. Immense self-control. Otherwise, you just you lose your freedom, man. And uh, that would really, 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 really suck. So yeah, that's a good reminder for me. You know, as, as good of a martial artist, I am more, I'm more of a street fighter than a ring fighter, because the rings, you have rules, the street, you don't. The rules I go by is like, is this reasonable force? You know, or is this excessive force? And I'm like, well, I could, you know, permanently injure someone, rip their testicles off or bite their ear off. Would I want to do that just because they've pissed me off or just because they've punched me in the face? Do they deserve their balls permanently disfigured? No, in my opinion, they don't. You know, especially if it's just... Well, again, I can read the situations really well, really quickly. If there's a knife involved, then, yeah, you, you don't really have, a, have time to think about things. You've got to really act and disable... But, um, or weapons, etc. Or, or if there's numbers, you know, you gotta, gotta react. But again, it's like the best street fight is the one you don't get in. Simple as that. I learned that in 96 and, and in 2022. I still believe that today. That, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I trash talk. People trash talk. It's part of the game, you know. <laughs> I can give, I can take it. People wanna do live debates, we can do that. And you know, people wanna jump in the ring, we can do that as well. Um, but again, it's sort of like, but I would feel bad as well. What if I, you know, knock someone out and give them permanent brain damage in the ring? You know, in an organized, safe, legal fight, and I put this dude in a freaking, you know, in a coma for life just for a freaking YouTube video. Like, you know, so it's sort of like, you know, oh, good on you, mate, you put a hate. No, well, that's not going to feel good, man. I'm not going not, not to feel good at all. You know, person with mental health issues or whatever. You know, or just, like, it's not going to feel good for me, you know. So, maybe we'll just do stomach shots, no head shots. <laughs> um, you know, who can get winded first? That would be that'd be more safer, safer way to do it. It's pretty hard to really, really hurt someone with stomach shots, especially with wearing 10-ounce gloves, 12 ounces, etc. Safe way to do it. But um, that's, that's where I'm coming from, man. I lost, uh, you know, unless you're a mosquito, I don't do any harm to you. Unless you bite me like a mosquito it is. But that's the deal. So haters out there, you're going to have haters in your life. And if you're taking it personally, if you're having rage, if the haters really, really getting to you, like you're not really seeing it as it is. You know, you can just delete them. You can block them. 
That's the best way to do it. Just delete and block. All right? Or invite them for a live debate. You know, Just say, hey, live debate. Let's do it. Otherwise, comment again, I'll block you. That's a pretty mature way to do it. So far, yeah, I've had one person, one person in 22 years of social media. I think it's one. I think Bart K. Good on him, Bart K. for stepping up. With Drew Morg, it was last year or two years ago, we did a live debate. You know, so tip of the hat to Bart K. You know, he had the balls, the courage to debate me, live debate. You know, no one else has done that. One person in 22 years. One person. You know, what's going on there? That's my favorite thing. Love debates. Nothing beats that. Anyway, that's the deal. Don't about your haters. Haters make you famous. If you're on your jobs on social media, if you want to make six figures on social media, you're going to get a lot of haters, okay? If you want to get a lot of influence on social media, if you want to get a lot of girls or a lot of guys or whatever in your life, you love attention and fame and money and, you know, sponsors just throwing crap at you, you know, then you're going to have haters as well. If you don't have any haters, you don't have a career on social media. You just don't, man. You don't. You do not have influence. If you don't have full-on, obsessive, stalker haters, if you're not getting punched in the face or people freaking, you know, doing something, whatever, you can see all these, these people out there. You know, some chick had a bins burn the other day. If you don't have full-on stalkers, man, then you don't have a social media career. You just don't yet. Right? You don't yet, and that's part of the deal. Um, so you be, understand that. Understand that. A lot of people aren't ready for that. They're not ready for the stalkers. They're not ready for the obsessive fans or the, you know, the street fights or the, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're not ready for that. They're not ready for people to make documentaries about them. Right? If, you, if you haven't had a five-part documentary made about you, then, man, your life must be pretty boring. 